Okay, guys, so as you can hear in my voice, I am beyond sick, okay? So just bear with me throughout this video, and I'll try to be as clear and precise as possible. Before we get started, I do want to let you guys know that this video was sponsored by Best Fiends, and it is a what's on my iPhone video because I recently switched over from Android. Guys, so I actually wanted to show you guys the home screen first and then show you the Best Fiends game but um, I'm going to get into a lot of the things that I have on my phone. And as you can see, I only have basically one screen with apps and then the other one with widgets. So this just says Tuesday, January 31st. And it you can pick and choose what widgets you want to put. Um, I'm a Google Chrome girl, so I definitely have my Chrome, my weather, my notepad because I always take notes in class or when I need to um like do a shopping list or something like that I do need my maps for GPS and I also need my calendar so that's all I have on my widgets right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the apps that I have what I'm gonna do is probably group them even more like I have social work utilities music travel photography extras those are the seven folders that I have so, my phone is actually on a dock and I'll show you guys that later so if I click on right here my best fiends will open up and ignore that um, so I'm on level 32 so catch me if you can and if you're my Facebook friend we can connect and we can share the leaderboard so yeah so what I want to get into I'm just gonna click the 32 I might even lose this one is called slippery slopes so basically what we're doing so a little ad popped up and you might get that from time to time. On this board, as you can see, I get 26 moves. So it kind of varies and changes. The goal is, I'm glad that it's not timed because I feel like with timed games, you get like a lot of pressure. And it, excuse my nails, I need a filling. But anyways, the goal for this one, it says to defeat eight slugs and to unlock this box down here. And this box just has a meteor mite in it. So yeah. So it's a free puzzle adventure game where you collect and upgrade characters by matching the same color objects as you can see. I'm going to demonstrate that. And that also like takes down the health of the slug and then it destroys it. So your goal is to destroy the slugs and it's not actually a sometimes it's like you have to destroy the same color objects a certain number of objects and stuff like that but this one is pretty simple even though I tried a million times and I have lost as I said you can connect to Facebook and you can compete against your friends and you can see the leaderboards I'm on level 32 so, like I said, y'all can come and try to beat me, but I doubt y'all will. So, I'm just playing. <laughs> this video shall be live in February, and you should be able to play the Valentine's Heart Challenge to Win Rewards in celebration of Valentine's Day. And on Valentine's Day, you'll get a free gift, so be sure to play on that day. Again, I do apologize for my voice, but I am definitely under the weather, and it is, like, killing me. So you can download the game for free, and if you download it now, you will receive, if you use the link below, you will receive $5 worth of gold and diamonds for free. You don't have to pay for it. So surprisingly, after about 30 tries, I beat the game. And they would give me three keys. I get some little rewards and stuff. And then with the keys, I can go unlock some more prizes. I tend to do this randomly, and I just do like that. So I got some meteor mites, and I'll show you in a second what those do. So if I go right here, as you can see, I have two green fiends, two blue fiends, a one yellow fiend, one red fiend, and one purple fiend. Now, um, I don't know if I have enough meteor mites and diamonds to upgrade, but I'll see. 
So if I click on them, it tells me I need 1200 meteor mites to upgrade. And as you can see, I have 1789. So I'm going to go ahead and update, upgrade Brittle. So as far as what else is on my phone, or basically an overview of my phone and how I'm liking Apple so far, I'll go ahead and show you. My old phone was a ZTE. I'm on Cricut service, so yeah. Um, and this was a Grand Max 2, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So in size comparison, it's about the same. And you can see me looking ratchet on it. But um, the iPhone is just a tad bit skinnier. So that's that. Um, and this also has a case on it. So it's just a little bit smaller. I can get used to it. Um, it's only one thing I don't like about the phone. And it doesn't have like one of my favorite apps on it. And it's called my invoice manager, which is how I deal with business. Um, this is my case. It just says glitter is my favorite color. And it kind of is like... I like that the glitter actually moves around. And everybody is like fascinated with... When I saw it in Best Buy, I was like, yes, I have to have it. And I didn't even have my iPhone yet, but I know what case I definitely wanted. On my... The only accessory I have that came with the phone was headphones. And then I bought this dock right here. This dock really just holds it up. The store guy told us that it was like a speaker and stuff in there. It's not, so he kind of fooled us. But um, you can charge it through here and have it just sitting up like I had it sitting up throughout the whole entire video. And you can also put your headphones in here and listen to music or watch movies or whatever. I would probably use it to FaceTime because I don't like holding my phone up. My four main apps at the bottom is my phone, log, my messages... Safari and Gmail. So my background is really basic. It's just a barcode and it has my name. That's it. Um, other apps that I have on here. Netflix, Hulu. Of course, Best Fiends. The only other game that I play is Jumbline. And it's like a word game. I have Google Chrome. As I said, that's my favorite. So we have the App Store. And what I like about this phone in particular um, of course, if you hold the phone button, Siri will come up. See? I'm already here. What can I do for you? Hey, Siri, can you open Instagram for me? So, as you can see, and what actually comes up is NCCU Curve Appeal, so that's dope. <laughs> Let me like that picture. One other thing I don't particularly care for is the fact that it doesn't have... Uh, option for me to record my screen on my Android you can download any app and record your screen like your phone screen so you can see basically everything I'm doing and it will make the video more of a higher quality than the one you see me doing now because as you can see the camera focuses and auto focuses on its own so it's kind of a hassle to record the video and keep it in focus the entire time basically it doesn't have my app that I need for my invoices and it doesn't allow me to record the screen which kind of can be for safety and stuff like that but yeah so in my social folder I have Instagram group me snapchat messenger Twitter Facebook, FaceTime, Mail, and Notes. In my work folder, I just have Wix, PayPal, Bank of America, Ebates, my Cricut, um, eBay, and PhotoGrid. In my utilities, I just have Calendar, Calculator, Clock, Settings, Weather, Mobile Learn, Pages, Wallet, Reminders, and Video Recorder because I thought it would allow me to record my screen, but it doesn't. In my music folder, I just have YouTube, Studio, Pandora, and Tidal. My travel folder, which is going to come in handy when I go to Miami for spring break, I have Docs, Uber, Drive, Maps, Health, and Google Maps. Now, these two don't belong in here, but um, yeah, they're in there. In my photography folder, I just have videos, photos, and my camera. In my extras, I just have compass, tips, voice memos contacts, find friends, and find iPhone. What I like about this phone is, for instance, if I lock it with this side button up here and I want to get back in it, I can just click the home button and use my thumbprint. I like the thumbprint option. That's something that I didn't have on my Android and it works out pretty well. 
um, I can use it to open my Bank of America, my PayPal, download apps instead of remembering to type in a password every single time and remembering which password you use for what, you can just use your fingerprint. And I really like that. It's really convenient. One last thing I like is that through this little game app, we can do through messaging. And you just click here, and it's called Game Pigeon, and a bunch of games that'll come up. And um, yeah, I tend to play this with my three friends, Eric, Delary, and Kane. And it's one thing that I do like about the iPhone. So you just really pick a game and send it. She's not going to want to play. So yeah, I'm going to send it to her anyway. And then you wait for the person to send it back to you. And you just play through messaging. So I like that. So basically that's it for my iPhone. I have one last case that I bought. The last case that I bought just looks like that and it says native union and it's basically a matte black my phone is actually matte black i was going to get the rose gold one but i didn't but um i have this case and i like the little patch on here it just reminds me of like a pair of jeans or something i don't know um they're both matte black but this one is a material and this one is like a i can't think of the material it's like a soft plastic or something and the inside is like this lime green color, but you really won't be able to see that. So, yeah. And it's an impact skeleton. Also, on my phone, I do have like a glass protector because y'all know iPhones are sensitive. And as soon as you drop them, they want to break. I done dropped my Android about 30 million times and it never broke. But anyways, that's it for my phone. So, that concludes everything on my iPhone that I use. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining.